So, your Mark III has been printing flawlessly for months and then all of a sudden something goes wrong. And one of those things can be that your print stops sticking to the heat bed. And this is a massive issue and it can be easily fixed. I've recently just had this issue and I couldn't work out why. So I did some of my own research on the web, found a bunch of forum posts and things. So I've compiled those into one video just to help you guys and sort of familiarize you with some of the maintenance that you might need to do in order to keep your prints at 100%. So tip number one is to keep cleaning the print surface. So whether you're using a Mark II and you've just got a direct heat bed, or if you've got the Mark III and you're using the steel sheets, they do need to be cleaned quite regularly. And you know, depending on how much printing you do, this can change. But they tend to build up a lot of impurities on the surface. So you know, grease off, off your skin, just natural oils. As soon as you touch the, the, the sheets, um, you can see it on there, you know, smudge marks. And even after you've been printing for a while, you notice when you pop the prints off, there's always a bit of sort of debris left behind. And this just builds up over time and it decreases the ability of the PLA or whatever plastic you're using to stick to the surface. This is easily fixable and one way of doing it is just cleaning the heat bed so you can use alcohol wipes that's a common one to to use and you you probably want to go for you know 100 percent alcohol wipes just because it, it dries up easier as well and the better way to do it i find is to use acetone so you can give your print surface a full acetone refresh i leave a link below to um the product that i use to do this it's awesome it's 100 percent acetone it's basically a nail polish remover, does the job, and it basically restores your print surface to pretty much brand new. And I noticed straight away that my prints were sticking way better than they used to. Tip number two is to check the underneath of your steel sheet for little bits of plastic. So usually when you finish a print, uh, you'll pull the steel sheet off and pop the print from the steel sheet right and usually when you do that your extruder is still very hot and there's bits of plastic dropping off onto that heat bed surface itself and these might be tiny little bits of plastic but then when you when you go back it, it just doesn't cross your mind you put your steel sheet straight back on the heat bed and what this will do is it'll create little bumps on underneath the steel sheet and what this causes is you know calibration issue with your z-axis so I used to find that um, I get sort of halfway through a difficult print and all of a sudden the whole print would just pop off and that was quite unusual because you don't usually see that especially if you've got a lot of surface area to stick to but I found that because of the little bits of plastic under the steel sheet it was causing the nozzle to actually hit the print at a certain point and it would just knock the whole print off and it would unstick. So that was one of the main issues that fixed it for me. Um, I was just having this problem over and over and I couldn't work out why. I checked the underneath of my steel sheet and there it was, just a little bit of plastic. So check that, just give it a wipe, remove any bits of plastic that you see. Clean both sides of your steel sheet and then put it back on because it could also be plastic stuck to the underneath of the steel sheet. So it's good to check for that. And tip number three, if you're really, really struggling to get prints to stick, especially if you don't have much surface area in a print, what you can do is use glue. Now, Prusa print, uh, provides some glue with the printer when you get it. And it's basically just a print stick. So you wanna put a little bit on a steel sheet and just smudge it on with some, um, some paper or something very lightly you don't need it to be too thick or you'll mess up your first layer so just lightly smudge it on and that can help your print stick so that's basically the three tips I wanted to give you for this video um, I spent a lot of time trying to find these things out hopefully you can use my advice and incorporate it into your print printer maintenance routine I'm also going to be doing a video soon on full print printer maintenance because mine's due very soon uh, you know, I'm going to be oiling up the rails and, you know, cleaning the printer and loads of other little things that are important. 
so keep an eye out for that video and that's about it thanks for watching uh, i hope these tips were really helpful to you if you enjoyed give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i'd really appreciate that until next time take it easy